Hello, I'm Michael from Make the WordPress and I'm on the quest to find the best for WordPress, whether it's hosting plugins or themes. And I will also help you to develop things in WordPress. Nevertheless, today I'm going to look into a very interesting topic. So did you know that if you upload anything to the WordPress media library, such as an image or a PDF file, it's accessible by anyone on the web, including search engines? Some cases you don't want that. You want your files to be private. Well, there are a couple of good solutions for it and one solution is really good. Prevent Direct Access. In this video, I will be showing the Prevent Direct Access plugin and all the features it has. Alrighty, so here we are at the official website of Prevent Direct Access, the plugin to protect your media files. Let's just briefly look in what it can do as advertised by them. So like I mentioned in the introduction, Prevent Direct Access or PDA in short can protect your media files such as images, zip files, PDFs, docx, docx files and so forth. It can also limit Google and other search engines from accessing your protected content. You can restrict the content per user role. So this comes in really useful if you're running a membership website or have different kind of user roles. And not every user role should be able to access these files. And furthermore, it's also possible to create private download links that can be accessed on public, but they're still private and you can also make them expire or uh, protect them. So these features are obvi obviously uh, pretty nice, but uh, let's look into the practical aspect. How does it look like in practice? Let's log in to this demo environment. So um, the interesting thing is that um, Prevent Direct Access is available as a plugin in the WordPress plugin uh, repository. As you can see, it's already uh, already installed and this, this plugin is pretty limited. The free version, you can only um, protect nine files. And as you can see in my plugin overview, there's also a gold version, which is the paid version of PDA. It comes with a lot of new feature, lots of features and uh, less restrictions. And it will cost you around 15 bucks a month for three websites up to 30 bucks a month. So it is, it is a bit pricey, but still it's really nice plugin. So what can this plugin do? It's pretty straightforward. Once you've installed the plugin, head over to media and you can protect your files in the library. So if I would be clicking on configure file protection in here, I can see it's protected now and it's only accessible to logged in users. It's also accessible, accessible by this link. I can unprotect this file, which makes it basically unprotected again and anyone can access and then again, I can protect it. And as you can see, the link is different for the image. That's what this plugin does. It places all the protected files in a separate folder and thus these are safe. That means if you do have existing content, existing image that you are going to protect, you need to update your links if you want to um, protect it or want to show the protected file. So what does this do? Let's just briefly log out and see if we are able to access this direct link. And here we are. We have the direct link of this file, but we cannot access it. We will see the default for a four page of WordPress. And in this way, the file is protected. And this works basically for any type. So it doesn't really matter if it's an image, a PDF, or any other type of file. The plugin can be applied to any file. Um, that's in uh, your media library. Whoops, I have to fill in the correct password. 
and there we are again <laughs> all right as you can see there's also a samp pdf file which is also protected and again it works the same as the image i showed if i'm not logged in i cannot access it so um what i have here is this uh, protected pdf file which is accessible through this link let's just briefly look into a couple of other options that this plugin provides um, we can encrypt this file it means that if anyone would be able to access the file because of a security breach or anything else it's encrypted and if someone is not logged in he still is not able to read the file so it's an extra security measure as implemented by pda um, as you can see there are a couple of other tabs in there invite and earn is a promotion tab the file access permission is very interesting because we can set up the access permission per user role so um, in here we can restrict it to only admin users the, the files author so the one who uploaded the file to login users or to anyone uh, which is basically giving access to anyone but your media is not on a public link so it is not uh, easily indexed by search engines and you can also um, limit the access to no user roles if you have an extension um, you can also uh, elaborate this and give permissions to custom roles but for that you need a paid extension uh, and i'll just briefly open the pda website the file access restriction it allows you to um, extend the file access to custom user roles again this will add some money there are a lot of other extensions which uh, allow for payments integration with uh, woocommerce with newsletters and so uh, such and so forth and it will also rack up something to your yearly bill as you can see nevertheless the basic gold version also has this role restriction so i think it's pretty useful then there's another interesting feature and that's the download link and in here you can create a download link and for example set a limit it can only be downloaded one time and expiry date so this will expire in five days and well i already created some other download links as you can see these are all downloaded links um, I created before and this is a public link which can be used to download the file and again as showed you can limit the number of downloads and when it also expires so it's very useful if you want to share some files if you have a new ebook which is available on a limited, ta limited time frame or if you have something that's only for your subscribers or your members so if I now open this uh, window it's possible to see this file and I can also download it. It will not like directly download the file because this is the way the browser works. It will open up the PDF and not download it. But that's not really a problem because you can still download it using the save button. So this is basically how the plugin works. It's really straightforward, uh, very easy to use, I think, and it can protect your files by the way it's also possible to uh, delete uh, these existing download links so and again now we have one click on this file so if I would reload it I won't be able to find it because we hit this download limit of one attempt so really nice as you can see so this is the basics of protecting a file in PDA prevent direct access it applies to uh, all kinds of files actually it's also possible to bulk protect or bulk unprotect files so you can select them all at once and then protect them of course i have then uh, also my previous settings so the download link available here but i need to encrypt this file again and there we are we've protected our files again so as you can see, it's really easy and you can protect files really fast with this plugin. 
At last, it will add some extra settings um, within um, within your WordPress dashboard. So it's possible to auto protect new file uploads and also for only for certain roles, you can encrypt protected files. Um, furthermore, you can set the access permission, the default access permission. There's also a search and replace function, which you can use to um, replace actually all the URLs of images and files that are already embedded in the content. So for, for example, if you would have an image on the front end and it's just publicly visible and then you protect it, it won't be publicly visible. But you also need to replace the URL to the protected URL. I hope it's clear. Um, it's also uh, here are some options for the private download links and what the URL will look like. Basically, this part. And um, yeah, like I showed, uh, by default it opens the file, but it's also possible to force a download. And it's also possible to automatically generate uh, download links when you protect a file. There are some other security options, uh, which is pretty, which are pretty nice. And some of these are also covered by uh, other plugins. But image hot linking, I think, is a really nice. Uh, feature and it basically prevents that other sites can use your images but they don't download your images but they use the direct url of your images on their website it's a bit technical but basically it means that they're using your bandwidth and your images and not something you want um, hiding a wordpress version can increase uh, safety and access to sensitive files as well it's also possible to grant web crawlers access to your protected files and indicate which ones of these can access it. Of course, it doesn't really make sense if you want to shield them from these. So in that uh, sense, you can leave it up. And again, you can also limit the roles that can basically protect files. So you can also only make administrators be able to protect files. You can enable debug for some error and troubleshooting and also um, keep the wall URLs or remove data up and uninstall. So also pretty nice. The plugins covers a couple of good options. Then there's another interesting fact and that is you can enter IP addresses from people and they cannot access private download links. So there are certain users or malicious users and you know their IP address, you can block them here. And uh, at last there's an FAQ with some questions and there's also a license. Um, somehow it is uh, gone here, but it was here. Hence, I get also this, this message. And one last thing I want to show for PDA is the quick walkthrough. And this is also <laughs> pretty nice. It's um, basically a walkthrough through the interface and how it works. So it step by step, it will explain how it works. And it's basically what we did before. So all the steps are explained in here. So I think this, uh, this is a really nice plugin. It's very easy to use. It's user usability is great. Uh, like I said, um, it protects your files well. I also, did some in-depth security uh, testing, and I think it, uh, yeah, the practices it impl implements are good. It's also not really a heavy plugin, so your site won't be um, much slower of it. It used to be slower for older plugins, so that's also really nice. Um, there's one thing to be aware of that if you are loading a page which has a lot of protected files. It will load slower than before because the plugin needs to check if the user has permission to see this file. So it won't be as fast as as the default page. So, but still, the the difference is not that big. And furthermore, I think if you compare it to some other plugins such as Gravity Forms or Elementor, which are really big plugins, their pricing uh, level is a bit on the expensive side. You're 
paying for three websites already uh, like 15 bucks a month which is uh, almost 180 a year for three websites and then you don't have any of the extensions of um, the PDA uh, plugin which are actually a lot and most of these um, extensions they are priced between 50 to 90 bucks a year so that will rack up pricing quickly but nevertheless uh, i think it's uh, still a very nice plugin and i looked into a couple of other plugins which can do the the same and this is basically one of the best uh, i found so far so uh, they also have a free version with limited features uh, just online in the WordPress uh, plugin uh, library. So if you want to try it out, go ahead. What are you waiting for? And then uh, in addition there, um, and um, in addition their paid version can be uh, downloaded and bought from their site, which is actually on preventeratoaccess.com. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below. There's also a link to an elaborate review of this plugin on my website and also a link to either download or purchase Prevent Direct Access. Thank you for watching.